is a very simple task that is often overlooked by many of the tech companies. There are four common nouns to use, and one of them is forehand not, half moons are not, winds are not, and shell not. And the only time we're going to be doing today is to have a demonstration for you guys, which is the forehand not. Here's a good example of a visual book on all the ties and how they're not step by step in the sequence process. Now, with the forehand knot, most people would have a button shirt with a collar. So you have to pop your collar, put the tie around your neck. Keep the wider end on the right side of you, but each side, each side should not be even. So the right side with the wider side should be down lower, where the shallow, more tighter end actually should be aligned right above the pant line or aligned with your belly button, depending on how the length of the tie works. Now that we got it started off, I'm about to go through the basics of it. Here are the visual steps of guys while we go through this demonstration. When it comes to crossing, you should always know to cross it near your neck. So you would take the wider end over the little bluer end and have it cross over. And then place your thumb underneath if you a beginner and I have my friend Greg Child here who, who knows how to tie a tie demonstrate it without using so I will be explaining how to do it with using fingers and make it easy for you guys. But make sure the white end is facing forward and that the crossing is near your neck. After you've done all that, don't lose the placement of your finger after you cross the wider end over and then bring it back over again. And then you will then proceed with pulling the white end through the back of it, underneath, between your chest, and where the knot will be. Once you've done all that, there will be a hole right in front where the knot would be, and you will proceed to pull through with the wide end, through that hole, and you will proceed to continue pulling through the end where you will be able to release your finger and pull it all the way down. Next, you will grab the smaller end of it, which is behind the wide end, and you will proceed to pull it down along with grabbing onto the knot. slowly because it will also screw up the tie and also screw up the knot. Great job. So now that I have demonstrated on how to tie a tie, you can now enjoy your special occasion and have no more frustration with tying a tie. Great. How well is that tie for you? Very helpful. After you have tied a tie, you will go through, look in a mirror, possibly even like thinking to yourself on how you did it. If you think it's good enough, you can go out and enjoy your special occasion. But most people would like to go to other people who they can use and have them look at themselves and give them perspective of what their opinion should be. So after you get your opinion from whoever or you go through the mirror, then you'll have a very good how it is 